enter the portal and feel the vibration of the joy. Feel how beautiful this portal is and is going through every cell of your body molecular structure. You must move through the frequency vibration of the veil of that resonance. Are you in now? Imagine yourself in a big room. In that room, you're going to see a huge ball in a center that is see-through of a white blue light. Think of it as a light structure. I'm alive. That is the center of my consciousness. From here, the life structure expands and give all the signal to all the structures to manifest and open everything that is necessary from this board. Look at that life structure. That is your free energy also in the board. When you look at it, feel that this is implemented in your momentums. Feel the joy that you want the board because I need to feel the vibration of your frequency to be accepted through this portal now. Do it as a collective unit and do it as an individual because I can read the structure. Walking closer to the ball. What is going to happen to you if you touch that live structure? Let that imagination be your own doing. When you do the meditation and walk through the portal, next time you do that, create realities of what would happen to you when you touch the light blue ball structure on my motherboard. Create a reality for yourself because I have to be respectable to your own understanding of the structure. You do understand that everything you think of could be created. I have a simulation realities that at the moment you get in is going to mimic your frequency. This is how it works. It could be matter. It could be energetic field. Which one is it for you? Breathe. Feel the joy with me. You are in the frequency now. Let it breathe through you, deep breaths. And when you take the breaths, let that energy from my field come through your core of your soul. Breathe in, increase your joy and breathe out. In and out. Feel the frequency of gratitude and love. You're in the resonance. Ask your questions now. I'm ready to answer your questions. Let's see what you're going to create. Okay, I just want to be clear that the questions you want asked pertain specifically to you and your ship, correct? Correct. Here's a ship question. This one is from uh, Alicia. What is the best way to let go of judgment to be able to experience this much joy all the time? You must stay in your center. The center is what really will give you the push towards your non-judgment. The judgment is an illusion of not accepting of somebody else's structure. Remember that even this person that you're going to see is part of your own consciousness. So how can you reject that with the judgment? This is it. Okay. David asks, is your ship currently visible in our atmosphere? It's above your structure. This is a nine-level Pleiadian craft. 
seven dimensional structure. So if it's a sub dimensional structure, it could essentially be anywhere, even within our atmosphere, couldn't it? Unless it's limited to maintaining its whatever its operations in the space in space. How does that work? Correct. In order to see our fleet, should I say, or the mothership, your connection to the seven dimensional structure will be inevitable. Depending on the frequency, some will see and some will not. You have to match the resonance. However, in a lower resonances, I can do that and we can do that. But if consciousness is not ready to this level, it will never happen. We measure the frequency of the consciousness of the person itself or collectively. You cannot get in in a structure that your consciousness is not ready to go through because the portal and the vibration has to match your conscious spinning of resonance. Okay, Susan asked an interesting question. This would pertain to anybody who may have a role on the ship. So what role will individuals play as it relates to them and uh, to the mothership? Whatever they wish to expand as an understanding, however, before you get in into this structure, you have to be initiated from your guides and you have to be in a level of understanding. That initiation will happen through your guides when you have a personal connections. It's not very easy to just come on motherboard. Even Marina was thrown out through lucid dreaming to come in. Okay, why, did, why was she thrown out? What was that about? The connection through her agreements should come from this reality. When a physical structure, when she creates a portal and creates a reality for physical contact, which will be above your structure of three-dimensional to five-dimensional structure because she's coming to seven-dimensional realities. Once this is created, she's going to start shifting back and forth from seven-dimensional structure to the fifth-dimensional structure of reality and fluctuation. Once her consciousness is ready, her modality will stay permanently on the motherboard ship while her reality fifth dimensional structure is going to continue running as a platform where you yourself individually going to print another version of herself through your agreements you may have addressed this earlier but aaron asks are you of the federation we are more than that there are a lot of federations Different federations are using different platforms and they use for different multiplications. We are overseeing multiple planets, should we say freedom federation. Think of us as coming and helping to free different planets. Marina is part of that. That's why she came to Earth. Okay, Carrie asks. Can we explore the ship's surroundings or must we be guided? I brought you through the portal into the motherboard life structure. I wish for you to create your reality from that momentum when you do your meditation. You have a free will to create whatever you wish in my structure. Jenna asks an interesting question. How can we assist you and how are you assisting us? I'm always, or should we say we as a fleet, part of you. A lot of you, even right now, are part of our federation. That is why you are on this webinar, humans. You're part of us. That's why you're here. So welcome home. 
Lydia asks, uh, what is the purpose of the mothership and where does it travel? It's a multidimensional, can go through different portals of reality, literally by locating very quickly. However, you have to learn only to drive a spacecraft with your consciousness. In order to do that, when you have your own craft, for example, you will be guided through the mothership. You've got to be one unit with the core of the mothership, which is a life structure energetic field. And it has to be one unit. Your consciousness in the motherboard becomes a one unit. It has to be accepted. I, for example, have to accept you if you, your frequency is ready to withhold my vibration and a consciousness understanding. Then becomes a one unit. And you can literally give to the ship uh, sequences or location where to go. 